Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. Uh, good news, or maybe not good news, I don't know, depending on how you look at it. We did not hit new all-time highs this week in the indices. SPX came close Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but did not push through. Uh, either did the NASDAQ. Uh, ES, well, the futures rolled, so it's showing ES hit a new all-time high, but uh, I think that has more to do with the futures roll. But anyway, uh, S&P up early in the week, down the last couple of days. NASDAQ, three red days in a row as well. Russell, lower, big big down day yesterday, a little bounce today. And then the Dow, a couple, couple days off of all-time highs as well. Gold kind of choppy to down. Silver pushed higher on the week. Uh, notes and bonds lower. 10-year yield back up to 4.306. Oil settled in at $81 a barrel, up, up for the week. Natty gas kind of grinded lower. Soybeans chopped sideways. Wheat up early, down later part of the week. Corn uh, kind of up and down. Euro choppy sideways, but a big down day yesterday. Uh, and the pound lower. Bitcoin, couple of down days off of its all-time high, which it hit of 74,415. And then VIX settling in, popped up above 15 a couple times. Uh, in fact, let's see, 311. Yeah, that was this week. That was Monday. Monday it touched 16, uh, but settling in at 141 all right, so trades for the week. Really good week of trading, uh, which I needed. In fact, I just did a podcast episode this week about how much drawdowns suck. And so this helped. This helped. Um, all right, so zero DTE, a little over 51,000 on zero DTE for the week. So nice 80% win rate, 79 total trades. Uh, so let me break these down by the different categories. Uh, we'll do AM trades first. Uh, just two uh, AM ratio on Monday morning, and then my Monday Wednesday trade. Uh, both of those were winners, a little over five thousand. On my challenged portfolio trades, my challenge portfolio up nicely this week. So the four strategies I am trading in that account accounted for a little over twenty-two thousand. Um, so that's done well. And if I break those down. Because they're kind of quite a bit different as far as trade. So I've got my my uh, re-entries that I do. So that was about 19,000 of it. And then my one DTE, I think I only had the one today. Yeah, for 1,500. And then reverse iron condors, three of those, all three winners. So good stuff there. Uh, end of day trades. Uh, a little bit red, minus 1,500 on those. And then uh, no FOMC. JSPs had a loser today and then one winner earlier in the week, so a little bit red on those. Uh, my NDX 10 wide that I do every day, just one loser. Uh, the one today was discretionary because there was no zero-day options on NDX, so I was just testing the three-day options. Uh, booked a little winner on that one. And then power hour. Let's just get all the power hours clicked. So just one loser, and that was yesterday. Uh, the rest were winners, so a little over 11,000 for power hour. PM. PM Iron Condors, uh, two losers. Both of those were discretionary, so they these didn't actually qualify, but I manually pushed them through. Uh, ended up being losers. Um, I still I liked the setup. I was just kind of going for what I was basically what these are, and I uh, wanted to put them on to get more exposure. And it, they ended up being losers, but that's okay. I uh, I'm not not mad about those. So plus twenty six hundred on the PM trades. And then kind of my discretionary zero DTE price action trades. 
quite a few of these this week. 23, uh, a little over 3,000 in profits on those. My quiet midday tranches, all winners. A little over 4,800 on those. Uh, O2 call calendar, yeah, just one of those, minus 1,400. So that's it for zero DTE. Uh, time flies. I didn't close any. Yeah, just I've got a couple open trades there. Uh, good week on dynamic calendars. Get all these clicked. I tell you what, I was just talking to uh, Landon here on the team, and I was telling him, man, these these one two B and Bs, just consistent, man. They are consistent. Uh, only one loss on calendars this week, and that was on a 1-2. Uh, but had a single calendar that was uh, positive, a 5-7 that was a tiny scratch. 3-6 winner, 3-5 winner, 3-7 winner, 1-3, 1-2, 1-3, 1-2. So altogether, almost 5,000 on the calendars. Uh, directional futures, good week on directional futures, mostly based on today. Uh, but a little over 4,000 on my directional futures trading for the week. Iron Ducks, I don't think I closed any. Yeah. Uh, MOC trades. So this was frustrating. I took one today. Uh, it was one tick away from hitting my profit target, and then it kind of bounced back up. So I ended up taking a tiny $125 loss. But the big issue was yesterday had a big MOC number and I just completely forgot about it until somebody posted in the community. Uh, and I was a couple minutes too late getting in, but it would have been a, the way that I trade it. Um, I would have made, I don't know, probably 3000, 4,000 on it. So unfortunately missed opportunity on that one that didn't show up here. Uh, options selling. So one loss on a short strangle, one win on a short strangle. Small red for the week. And then portfolio margin. I think I just had one closing trade that was a loser, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so one of my time flies closed out, so minus 2,300. These ones are still open. The, the other options will settle. Both of these will end up being small winners, so those will settle out uh, next week. So that's it, my friends. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. Come back and have another strong week next week. Take care. Have a good one.